Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the James Bond of Grove. This is Danny Milivojevic. This is at Grove Coach 007. Find me on Instagram. Find me on YouTube, Snapchat, and also my Facebook page. Today is vlog 18, and the topic is for you using your emotions and how to boost your quality of life so that you can expand yourself by thinking more broadly but also succeeding in all areas of your life and how to do that. Well, basically, guess what? If you are not using your emotions to drive you forward, then you are not really living. What you are doing is you are too much in the head and you are not using your full capability the way it's supposed to be used, all right? If you see a light bulb, all right, you see a light bulb, that light bulb, is a source of energy, all right? Now, think of that light bulb as your whole body, all right? Now, from head to toe, that is your body, all right? The mind is the body. The mind is emotion. Thought is emotion. Thought is energy. Your body is energy, all right? Your mind is body awareness. Your mind is spiritual. Your body is spiritual. Your body and everything about you is energy. Your energy is the same energy as a dog's energy. Your energy is the same energy as everyone else and what you see in the world, all right? Everything's vibrating at a frequency, and you are also, all right? So now, to be able to use your emotions to get whatever you want, whether that be a woman, whether that be a man, whether that be a person, whether that be success, happiness, whatever it is, or maybe even just to take action or to read something or to explain something in a video or maybe to, to do public speaking or if you want to make some pauses within your speeches, you can use your emotion to guide you because guess what? Your emotions drive your IQ. When you have your emotions pushing you forward, guess what? You become more confident, all right? You cannot become more confident through the mind itself. You need your emotions also. You need everything about you. You need your sex drive. You need your body. You need, you need your eyes. You need your mouth. You need your hands. You need your legs. You need your ears. You need hearing. You need taste. You need touch. You need everything to be the way you are. All right? So emotions play a key role to the person you want to be in life. And if you are not using your emotion, because the universe is run by emotion. Everything you see in life is emotion, all right? It's motion in emotion, all right? So when you see something moving, that something is moving through emotion, all right? When you have a thought, you are thinking about certain emotions. When you label certain thoughts, you are labeling certain emotions. If you, if you, if you see in your body that you have resentment, because you did something wrong, now you have labeled that as resentment, all right? Because you said something was wrong and you labeled that as resentment. Now you have to undo that thought and you have to be like, no, that's not resentment. That is me being honest, all right? So now that thought that you labeled as resentment is really a thought of you being honest. Now, next time you have that thought, you're gonna think of yourself as honest, all right? There are plenty of things that you can do today to boost your quality of life within your mind, within your body, within your emotions, all right? Because guess what? If you are not using your emotions, you are not really living, all right? This video right now, I'm using my emotions. I'm not thinking, all right? This is body awareness. If you go back to my vlog, Picking Up Woman, I talk about this kind of thing, body awareness, all right? But look, I didn't explain it properly. Even though I did to a certain extent, but now I'm going more into depth, depth into emotion, all right? So now, when you are using your emotion, guess what? You are not just in your head, all right? You are not in your head at all. You, you are using your light bulb to generate more energy, all right? Your body is the source of energy to accomplish anything. You don't need food to get energy. You don't need supplements 
to get energy. You don't need anything to get energy other than you. All right. Tony Robbins teaches this. This is the core of his foundation of what his life really means. All right. This is literally his core being. This is what he came here to do. All right. But only because he chose to do it. All right. Your life is based on what you choose to do. You are what you make of your life. You are the frequency you are now. And you can only become better if you become better. All right. If you become better, you attract better. If you become worse, you attract junkies. Okay. So now, Tony Robbins teaches to use your emotion to drive you forward. All right. So if you go to his seminar, man, this guy is like, ah, yeah, like he's got powerful energy. And this guy can go three days, 11 hours. About 50 days of the year, he can just like travel to 50 countries and do this every single week. All right. So now, look, this guy's really powerful and this guy can teach you a lot. So I highly suggest you go and read from him because he's got many life lessons, but this is his biggest lesson in life. He says, use your emotion because when you use your emotion to fuel your IQ, think of your body as EQ and your mind as IQ. All right. There are two types of bodies, but it's technically one, one body together. All right. So if I was to draw for you, like Bob Proctor did for me, all right, watch this now. This is basically right here. Do you see this? See that little small circle? That is your mind, and that big circle is your body, all right? But now look at this. Now, what does this represent? See this circle outside you? That is you, total, complete, the person of energy, everything about you. Because body and mind connected together is everything else, okay? You cannot have a mind without the body. You cannot have a body without the mind. Mind and body is one. Mind is body, body is mind, okay? Now, there are two sources of bodies, right? You can view your mind as a body. Your body, the bigger, bigger circle, but also your smaller circle is your body as well. Or you can go like your smaller circle is your mind, but your bigger circle is your mind also, but in terms of emotion, all right? Your mind shows emotion daily. You have 68,000 thoughts every single day within your mind. And if you are not writing your thoughts down on paper, if you are not writing your thoughts down on paper, then you are letting go of improving yourself. You need to journal every single day. You need to be able to capture those thoughts and put it onto paper so that you can at least find out what you are thinking about all day long, like Bob Proctor says, all right? That's why it's so critical to improve yourself because you are how you have lived your life the past five years. If you look at the most recent five years that you lived, that's how the next five years are going to look like if you continue this way, all right? Who you were before is not who you are now. Who you are in the future is not who you're going to be in right now, all right? So you're always changing. You have to constantly grow, okay? So now, to grow, you have to be able to use your emotions to drive you. If you look at a woman and you're trying to pick her up, but you're too much thinking in the head, that means that you are basically thinking too much. You're not doing. So you have to use your emotion to do. You have to use, you have to use your emotion to push yourself forward. So when you're pushing yourself forward with your emotion, you're becoming much more confident in the process. See how I use pause there? So that's how you also can use your emotion to tell you to use a pause within your speech. See, this whole speech is based on my emotion telling you how it is and how you're supposed to improve yourself, okay? Not how you're supposed to live your life, but how you're supposed to improve yourself. You can live your life however you want. I don't judge how you live your life. You live, everyone makes mistakes. But to use your emotion, you have to basically get your body, get your body and go. Ugh! Now, now, when you are tensing your body, you're using your 
emotion. All right, you're using your energy. Use your energy, man. Tony Robbins says to the whole seminar, come on, man, you guys are not creating more energy. You guys have to create more energy. And then the crowd goes, rah. You know? Now, within that rah sound, the people are hyping and generating themselves more energy. Okay? Now, they didn't need food to generate more energy. They just generated more energy, right? And that's what you have to do every single day. You have to be able to generate that energy throughout the day, okay? But you also have to eat less and less. And now what do I mean by you have to eat less and less? Because the foundation of having more energy in your life is not by eating more food. It's by eating less and less food so that your body can create more and more energy, all right? Or more of that light bulb. Because the more food you eat, have you ever eaten food, for example, like a big, nice, juicy steak or whatever? It's not even juicy, I'm vegan, but I used to call it juicy. Now it's fucking shit. It's a fucking shit steak, that's all it is. And now, you're eating a steak, and then you have pommes frit, which is another form of way to say chips in French. It's called pommes frit, or ketchup is tomato in French. Ketchup is French. Now, when you have chips and you have steak and you have sour cream and you have all that th stink, you have all that together and you eat it, right? What happens? Do you suddenly have more energy or do you get more tired? Because when I eat a whole steak and chips and sour cream before in my past, I, I used to get so tired right after the meal. And guess what? Then I just want to be lazy and go on Facebook. But when I eat lighter meals, like two bananas, that keeps me going, man. Two bananas gets me going more than a freaking big steak, large, a whole freaking large potato chips and hot chips, I mean, and also the sour cream. Two bananas will get me lo longer energy than this ever will because do you know why because when i eat two bananas i don't get tired man but the steak the chips and the sour cream gets me tired for about two hours and then i start to use my body's energy again all right so that's the difference between a person who's going to be much more successful than a person who is much less productive in life so the person who is eating less and less in their daily life is gonna be more productive than the person who is eating more and more, okay? Because if you're eating more and more, you're becoming more and more fat, all right? So that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, if you eat less and less, you're much more healthy, all right? You're much more disciplined because you're eating less and less. But when you are eating whatever you want and not using your body's energy and you're not using your emotion, then what you are saying is that you are undisciplined and that you're using your mind to generate your energy. Now, you don't want to use your mind to generate your energy. You want to use your body to generate what you want to say, what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to be with, all right? Now, not always. Now, sometimes some people are negative around you, all right? Now, these people, because have you ever heard the saying, negative people will zap and take your energy from you, all right? Now, what I mean by that is if you go around energy vampires, people who do drugs, people who smoke, people who do illegal drugs, people who drink alcohol, right? As soon as you enter the freaking scenery, they're zapping you of your energy, all right? Now, when that happens, you're going to start getting weaker and weaker over time. It's only natural, all right? But don't look at this as something to be afraid of or something to, to bash yourself over. Never bash yourself for anything. Never blame yourself for anything. Never blame others for something, all right? Never make excuses, all right? Now, when you are getting zapped of energy and you feel yourself weaker, that's when you start generating mind activity, all right? That is when you start stimulating your mind, okay, to... The, ex the exact way you were doing before. But what most of you guys and women out there are doing is you're too much in your head 
and less in your body. All right, and what I mean by that is you are more generating energy with your little small mind and putting so much pressure on your mind to do stuff like I was for a long time until I went to a Tony Robbins seminar and I got this off him, which was so worth it for the 129 VIP ticket that I paid, Australian dollars. All right, this is a change. This is a life change for me personally because I'm 27 right now. All right, I spend $6 a day on food alone. All right, so if you go six times 365, that's how much I spend currently, but I want to go down to $5. I want to go down to $4 a day spending on food, man. Like, that's discipline, man. I don't, I don't go to a freaking restaurant to eat. I wait 45 minutes, two hours to get home to eat. That's, that, do you know why? Because I get to have more energy in the process. People think that when you eat less and less that you starve. No, 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 no. Your body is using energy all the time. All right. Now, when you get to the point of starvation, that is when you have to eat. But you have to discipline yourself to eat less and less so that you can see how fast you can go. So, so that you can see how good you can be. So you can see the peak performance. All right. Because peak performers have less meals throughout the day, if you didn't know. When you want to be a peak performer, you don't eat more and more. You eat less and less. All right. If you go into a fight, a boxing match, you're not going to eat before your match. All right. I will definitely not eat before before a boxing match because as soon as I eat, I start getting comfortable. All right. That's why there's a saying: you have to remain hungry. All right. Yeah. So when I haven't eaten, I woke up today, man. Today, now, right now, it's seven thirty-six p.m. I woke up around two o'clock today, all right, because I wanted to sleep in. I had a really good education lesson the day before. I learned a lot, and I had to sleep eight hours so that I could retain that information, all right. Because the more you sleep after you learn something, the more you're going to learn during your sleep, all right. So it's smart and it's a wise decision to sleep up to 2 o'clock, then 11 o'clock and get 3 hours or 5 hours sleep. When I can get 8 hours when I have nothing to do else but sleep. And guess what? Sleep is very productive anyway. It, sleep is more important than work. All right? Sleep is more important than the 9 to 5 job. When you can get sleep, you can get everything else. Now, when you are using your emotion to drive you forward, okay? And you are eating less and less throughout time, you're gonna become much more disciplined. You're gonna be much in a better, you're gonna be in a much better state to accomplish what you wanna accomplish. Now, by using your emotion, you are becoming more confident in the process because a lot of you guys out there are using your brain to, to generate your energy, but you have to be able to use your body's energy, okay? That's why you eat less and less. When you eat less and less, you can then have more energy throughout the day so that you can go harder, so that you can do more. That's why you have to be hungry. That's why I get hungry, all right? I lost myself for a second. Now, I get hungry throughout the day, yeah? And that's not starvation. Starvation is like when you really need to eat because your body itself and your mind doesn't have energy. That's when you eat. When you have no mind power and you have no body power, that is the time to eat. But as long as you have body energy and as long as you have mind energy, man, bro, do not eat, man. Like literally, do not eat because... The less you eat in life, the longer you're going to live in life. The key to longevity and long life, to live a thousand years, not a thousand years, but to live a long, long life, over a hundred, all right? If you want to live over a hundred years old, eat less and less in life. Because today, there are many processed foods that take your life away. There are many sodium foods, like soy sauce, all that kind of stuff that has a lot of salt in it that will cause heart disease and all these kind of things to you that, that make you die prematurely, 
All right, that was 20 minutes. Now, when you are eating unhealthy foods, even, even meat is very unhealthy. Meat is the worst food that you can eat on the planet right now. Fish, chicken, egg, pork, cow, beef, bull, whatever it is, dog, cat, it's all bad because it's meat. When you slay an animal, the animal dies in fear, right? That fear goes into, that fear and suffering of dying for the animal goes into the meat that you eat. And then once you eat that meat, you absorb their suffering, you absorb their fear, and you absorb that turmoil, and you feel guilt and shame at the back of your mind, even though you may not realize it. Because that's what I realized after I became vegan. All right, I realized I was very guilty about killing animals and eating them. All right, I would pat a dog, I would pat a dog, but then I would eat a cow. What's the difference between a cow and a dog? Both are life forms, two different names, they look different, but the same. They're non human animals, aren't they? So, how can you be nice to an animal? But then eat it. So that doesn't make sense at all. Okay. Anyway, the food that you eat, the food that you eat has direct impact on how long you're gonna live. That is why Tony Robbins teaches to eat less and less so that you can have more and more energy, so that you can use the power of your emotions, like I'm teaching you right now. Because this is what Tony Robbins has taught me, but I'm just giving you my perspective and I'm teaching you in my kind of direction. All right. So then, when you are using your emotions to drive you, to fuel you throughout the whole day, I hope this makes sense. When you're using your emotion to drive you throughout the day and you're eating less and less, it's natural that you are going to have more long lasting energy. But yes, have little small snacks because peak performers have small snacks. They have seven to 10 meals a day, but small ones, okay? You can have 20 small meals a day. There is no limit to how many small meals you can have, all right? No limits because small meals fuel your body with energy, but your energy absorbs that, uses that as energy, and then your body keeps using its own energy, all right? Now, when you're eating less and less throughout the day, because I just met someone at the casino yesterday, it was two guys, and I, I told them, look, I spent $6 a day on food alone, $6 a day. And that, uh, that, that guy's told me, he's like, he spends $45 a day on food itself. So think about how much, that, that mon how much money that is. All right? In Australia, the average income of a person is about $60,000. All right, the average income of salary. All right, so that guy spends one third for every three dollars he spends on food. For every three dollars he spends one dollar on food. That is an amazing amount. Thirty-three percent of his working life is directly impacted on the way he eats, and that's bullshit. Because not only that, but he pays off tax for a person's for a person's lifetime. A person is spending 20 years of their life just paying tax off, tax from the government, all right? They're paying tax. 20 years of their life is just paying tax. And now add food to that as well, all right? 33% of that, more paying freaking for food. For this guy, for example, all right? Some people eat less and have a less, of, less of a drive to eat, all right? And that's not a bad thing. If a person is not eating as much as they could be, that's a myth, all right? It's a myth that you have to eat to have energy. That's all I'm saying, all right? Sometimes people and doctors and psychiatrists and people all over the world who do not know about food or about using their emotions are saying that you have to eat. You have to eat. Did you eat today? Did you eat today? Did you eat today? Uh, this Indian woman, did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat? Like, yes, I ate. I ate. I'm fine. You know, I'm not saying that she's bad for doing that, but she's been conditioned by people 
for by her family by other people to say that you know so i have no i have no reason to judge her i, I like that she cares in that kind of manner but it's a wrong message okay like my mom too my mom did you eat today did you eat today my dad what what did you eat what did you eat like when i was younger what did you eat like always asking me right they, these people were conditioning me wrong because they were conditioned wrong you never want to condition anyone conditioning is wrong in the first place you just let the person be how they want to be if they want to eat something let them eat it all right but try opening them, them try opening that person up to a new perspective opening someone to a new perspective is much more different than forcing that person to take that perspective open the person all the time if you want to change someone open them to it all right make them make their own decision about op about opening themselves up to eating something or to taking that action to eat something okay make sure that you are opening people to take action on where you want it, what where you want them to go instead of saying no you must do this all right because that's when you say you must do this that's conditional you don't want to be conditional you want to be unconditional by opening people up and not not closing people by forcing them because by force you never get anything in life now when you are eating less and less throughout the day you're going to be much much more of a peak performer that's why you see nikola tesla and also albert einstein they say the vegans are superior why do you think that is well not only because they live 10 years longer but also because they eat less they live longer all right they have more energy they're more productive all right they're stronger mentally they're more disciplined they they're more financially free when you are become when you become vegan you also become much more financially free because you stay away from most foods because you are very you got the nutritional knowledge that you need to eat six dollars a day for example all right like tony robbins is saying so that's where tony robbins is coming into my life now all right i've been i i turned vegan before i even seen tony robbins but before that before that i was a smoker for two years right i was a smoker and tony robbins would tell me quit smoking man it's not getting you anywhere if you don't quit smoking think about your family think about how you're going to disappoint them think about how dreadful your life is going to be how much you're going to spend you're going to spend two hundred thirty thousand dollars in 30 years time just on freaking cigarettes man you can buy a house and i was thinking wow man he's correct and then two years later i was still smoking after that tony robbins session online i was watching youtube and in that time in that space of time of two years i was suffering i was lying to myself i was crying i was in pain I was in misery i was very unhappy i was depressed i was very fat because i weighed 47 kilos heavier than than what i am now all right i used to be 113 kilos currently i weigh around 68 to 70 okay so i got it down to 66 through nutrition first i got off the medication for schizophrenia because i kept off the drugs and that's the only reason and then I started to read also, which helped me a lot. And then I dropped 16 kilos just by being off the medication. But then I dropped 23 kilos by eating meat alone, just eating meat. And then I dropped a further 16 kilos or something like that. The rest of it by being vegan. Okay. So it was a slow transition of 51 weeks for me. But that's where Tony Robbins is coming in for me. Now, I went to a Tony Robbins seminar when I became vegan. And he goes, use your body for emotion because tony robbins was eating fish a lot of fish in his daily diet and he thought that was the diet to eat fish and eggs or something like that i believe it was fish alone or maybe fish and eggs and he goes no fish almost caused him blood disease almost caused him heart failure because he was eating a lot of it during his day because of protein and all that kind of stuff and then he, he thought then he knew he was wrong about that all right and then he thought he thought hey he got like a sudden realization food it, it like 
energy doesn't come from food. It comes from your body, right? And now Tony Robbins is going out teaching to eat less fish, to eat no fish at all, right? Because it's much better. Why would you kill a human form? Not human form, a non-human animal, all right? And that's where Tony Robbins came in for me. And I go to his seminar, I'm like, wow, use your body for emotion. Your body is the key to energy, not food. And that was, I was in a much better space to hear that because I've been, I've been staying away from most foods. And then Tony Robbins comes in and says, you don't need food, man, to have energy. And then I was like, what? Light bulb, Nikola Tesla. Like, do you get what I mean? So that's why I say, use your body's energy, right? Because now Tony Robbins' teaching is my teaching, basically. I've learned what Tony Robbins has taught, all right? So now I'm just giving that out to you. So it's only rightfully mine now to use this knowledge as my own, right? Yes, I credit the gatekeeper who is Tony Robbins, right? Tony Robbins is my gatekeeper, man. He, he, he helped me, like, move past that gate, okay? But now I, I, I fucking made the most effort to hear that and to go there and to do that and to become vegan. I made that effort, not, not Tony Robbins. I was just there. Like, the, the, there, there, there is a saying, when the student wants to learn, the teacher appears. And guess what? Tony Robbins was my teacher, all right? I was a student in his seminar and I was ready to hear that in that time. And then Tony Robbins told me and then I picked it up, right? So that's why you guys have to use your emotion. So when you're using your emotion, make sure that you're using your body, right? Go like this, right? Put your hands together like this. Go ahead, do it, man. Seriously, you're not going to learn by just watching me. You have to do in life. You do this, all right, and you go, Bruh. now, now it's tense, tense like this. That's your energy you're feeling right there, all right? You're going like this, your energy, boom, like this, energy, boom, boom. You're using energy, right? Like this, this is like lifting weights, all right? But you're using your energy, man. Like, look, you can feel your energy. You can feel the energy. Like, you can feel your energy, man, all right? So this, now when you're using energy, whenever you feel depressed, man, whenever you feel like you're using energy to, to lift yourself with your energy, all right, you're lifting yourself. Come on, man. Now, now you push, your, push forward, man. Push forward with your energy, right? You push forward. Push forward. Like, now they go in the, in the baptism, like, oh, Jesus, like, oh, like, Jesus, like, like, push forward, like, in that kind of manner, right? You push, 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 push forward. Now you're pushing, you're pushing, 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 right? Now you see a girl, you push forward with your, with your emotion. You push forward, that's alpha, right? Now you, you, you want to run faster? Push with your emotion, bro. Push with your, you don't push with your mind while you run, all right? Like if you want to run a marathon, you don't do it with your mind. You, do, you push it with your emotion, all right? Your emotion is the key to running a marathon in life, all right? If you want to run a marathon, run a marathon with your emotion. Make your emotion drive you, bro, all right? Make your emotions drive you, drive you. You want to talk to someone? Drive yourself to go and talk to that person. Do you know how? How have I taught you in this video? Go, tell me, tell me honestly. What did I teach you in this video? What's the, ti what's the title of the video? Like, come on, use your emotion, man. Fucking, you want to speak to a hot woman? Fucking dive into her, man, with your emotions, all right? You look at her boobs, you, you think you're scared? No, 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 use your emotion and drive yourself to look at those boobs, man. Yeah, man, drive yourself, like, like, she might be, like, fucking bending over and say, fuck me in the pussy, like, kind of thing, and you might get scared if you're thinking in, in your head, right, but then if you're using your emotion, push into that, yeah, that's good, man, I like that, uh, that's good, I, I, I really like that, uh, it's honest, man, be honest about it, all right, push into those fears that you have about women, about hot women, all right, push in the, into those fears that, into those women that intimidate you in life, with your emotion, use your emotion. When you see a hot woman, a really hot one, push into it. Hey, hey, sexy. Like, you, now you're talking with your emotion. Like, you're talking with your emotion. You're not talking with your mind, all right? You're not in your mind. You're using your emotion to check her out. You're using your emotion to run. You're using your emotion to discipline yourself, to, to, to speak this video, for example. This video, I am using my emotion to talk to you, all right? This is all coming from my emotion. 
all right? Now, there is a time and space and a place for just the mind without the body, all right? And that's what 99% of people on the planet are doing right now. They're in their mind and they're not using emotion. They cut off from their emotion. They're using too much drugs. That's what drugs do, man. Drugs cut you off from your emotion. Drugs cut you off from your emotion. Drugs cut you off from your emotions. All right? I had to repeat that. Because it makes sense. Uh, I was a person who took drugs in life. I took ice. All right? I was an ice taker. I was an ice abuser in life. I was an ecstasy pill taker. I took the lollies, man. No good. Lollies are no good at all. No good. Cigarettes, seven years. I smoked seven years cigarettes. I smoked pot for three years. Every single day, I was smoking pot. Every single day. All right? I was taking cocaine, making myself broke, freaking drinking alcohol. Fucking got me nowhere, man. Nowhere. All it did was fucking ruin me. Ruin my emotions. I couldn't label myself. I couldn't do anything. And look at now. I go to a Tony Robbins seminar. Fucking use my emotions now. I'm back with my emotions. I got my emotions back, right? I wasn't using my emotions. When I went to the Tony Robbins seminar, I came there just with my mind. I left, I left with my mind only, right? But then three weeks later, four weeks later came, and I fucking clicked what Tony Robbins was saying. Now I fucking got mind, body, and emotions together. Fucking use my body together, man, for energy, right? And now, not just that, but each time I learn something, this has been over three years now, four years, when I learn something, say I read a book today, one book in one day, I can read one book in one day. I can read five books in five days, and I can do it. I just do it on three times, three and a half times on audiobook, right? But that's not the point. I read, when I read a book, I read the book five times on three and a half times listening skills, all right? So I read three, three and a half times faster the book, and then I finish the book off in two, three days, all right? But I read it five times, all right? Some people read one book one time and move on to the next. That's what I was doing for the first 180 books that I read. All right? But this is what I teach you right now about the power of emotions. This is 700 books that Tony Robbins has read. Now, I'm giving it to you right now through this YouTube video that is free, man. I read, I read 1,000 books in my life, even though I have 203 on my iPhone. But including... 700 books that Tony Robbins has read right now is applied with me right now in this video teaching you what Tony Robbins has, has taught, all right? I've taught you everything in this book of this video, all right? Look, this emotions and using your emotions is the way to what you want to achieve in life. Listen, when you want to do something, right, and you're too much in your head, you are going to hold yourself back. Sometimes, yes, your mind can generate yourself to push into it because that's what I've been doing. I've been, I was using my mind to drive me to talk to a woman, to drive me to do something, to drive me to take courage. I was using my mind alone to write. I was using my mind alone to do everything except my body and my emotions. I used my mind to become vegan. Just my mind. I didn't use my emotions. How fucked up is that? I was putting so much stress, so much stress, and like I could have caused myself a stroke, to be honest. Just like putting all that discipline through my mind alone, not through using my emotions. Think about how, how cut off and how dysfunctional I was. Right? But now I connected the dots by going to Tony Robbins seminar. All right, by using my emotion now, all right? I can use my mind less, I can use my mind power less and use my body's energy more, but then when I have no emotions anymore, like when I have no more a body energy, then I can go into my mind where that light is also and I can use the remainder or the reserve in my mind, all right? Because look, you have three types of 
three types of energy. You have your body's energy, all right? You have your mind's energy, and you have food energy, all right? Now, those are the three types of energy in, in life, all right? All I suggest is use first your body's energy, all right? Use your body's energy. When you have energy, you don't need food at all. It's a lie that you need to eat three times a day. It's a lie that you have to eat at all during the day. If you have energy, don't fucking eat at all during the whole day. If it feels right. If you have energy, don't fucking eat because you're going to have more energy in the long run. You're going to live longer. All right? So now, when you are, when you have used up your body's energy or maybe someone's has sucked you off those energy, all right, or you're, someone's like, gone next to you and just fucking absorbed all that fucking energy that you have, that's when you move into the logic. That's when you move into your IQ, into your into stimulating your mind, all right? But now, when you are in your mind, push up with your mind. Push up, like literally, go with your mind and push up to the ceiling of your mind. Push up to the ceiling of your mind. Now, that's you. Go do it. Do it, honestly. Get your mind and push up to the ceiling of your mind with your mind. Push up. Good. Push up with your mind into the ceiling. Into the ceiling. Go, 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 go. Into the ceiling. All right. Now, stay there. Now, when you're doing that, when you're doing that, that is you getting out of your comfort zone. All right. That is you growing intentionally. Intentionally growing. All right. Now, let go. Let go of your mind at all. Let go of doing that now. Don't push your don't push your mind to the ceiling anymore. Now, don't even use your emotions anymore. Just be like this. Just be like a little fucking spaghetti. Alright? Be a spaghetti. Don't even fucking use your mind. Don't even use your emotions. This is you now in your comfort zone. This is you now in your comfort zone. You're not growing. You're remaining in one spot. Now look at me. I'll remain now I'm giving you my my emotions right now, right? When I'm teaching you, I'm growing. When I'm teaching you this video, I've been growing throughout the whole video because I have been giving you my vocabulary but also sequencing how I want to say things. And when I sequence how I want to say things, I grow from it, all right? Because I can next time say it better, all right? But now look, when I use my mind now, I'm using my mind now. Now look, now it's much different. I feel much more robotic now. I now I'm much more, much more better in how I want to say things and how I want to schedule and how I want to interpret and also be logical, right? That's all different now. But that, that's me. When I push my, my mind to the ceiling, I grow, all right? I grow as a person, all right? If I, if I read a book, I can either read it in emotion or I, I can like literally use my emotion to fuel myself to read that book or I can just use my, my mind, push up to the ceiling and read that book but also create more gaps in my mind, all right? This is a whole nother level of perspective that I'm gonna be teaching later on, all right? But look, now, when you're using food, when you're using food as energy, that is your last source of energy. The absolute last source of energy is coming from food. Now, that's where supplements come in. You got barley grass, you got Wheat grass and you got spirulina. All right, when you use these three supplements, supplements in your daily life, and you don't eat much, man, these supplements will give you the body energy you need to keep keep that energy going. Right? It's like a, it's like fuel for the mind. It's fuel for your body. All right. It's like literally petrol for the car. All right. You're using plant supplements, plant powder. All right. Or you can use the actual wheat grass, the actual grass, and get yourself one of the machines, and you you actually put the grass inside the machine and you're freaking rolling it and juice comes out. Or you can do that, all right? The, the, that's the best way. The best way is get the real grass, fucking put it in and boom, and do that. And the actual freaking juice comes out, all right? Now, some people cannot afford that, all right? They cannot afford $20 a week to get wheat grass, okay? So I also suggest Getting barley grass, for example. Barley grass costs about 30 bucks or $10 per 100 grams. But that gives you all the nutrients you need, man. It gives you everything. When you cannot eat, when you cannot eat, when you're on, on the road, like for example, myself, 
When I go to the casino, when I go somewhere, when I go to a nightclub, man, I bring my bag everywhere, man. I bring my bag because I know I won't be I won't be eating anywhere. I, I go I go out into the open without food, man, until I come back home. But guess what? That's why I bring my bag with me. People are go, why do you have your bag, man? Why why are you at the casino with your bag all the time? Yeah, man, fuck, I'm vegan, man. You live a different lifestyle to me. You drink alcohol, I don't, man. Like, we've got two separate, we're separate, man, in beliefs. Right, we're one, but we're separate in the way you think and how I think, all right? So, yes, I have a reason to bring a bag with me. I have a reason to bring tofu along or peanuts or something to eat, something to snack on, all right, to keep my body energy going. But I eat a small amount. Do you see, like, for example, peanuts? Look at peanuts, man. I bring this little pack. This packet has 375 grams, all right? And per 100 gram, I get 25 grams of protein. I eat this whole bag, I get my full body's worth of energy, man. Do you think, do you see how amazing that is? I weigh 70 kilograms, for example. This packet has 25 grams, so you have to have one gram of protein for every kilo that you have to give you energy. So 25, 25, 25. That's 75 grams of protein in this fucking thing right here. And a bit more because it's 375. It's not three times 25, it's three, it's 37 times 25. So if I was to calculate that right now, I'll tell you exactly. Let's be a woman. Right? I'll tell you exactly. All right. Uh, right, look at this. So if you ever want to calculate protein, all right, you look at the thing, what does it say? 375, right? So we go 37 times 25 equals 92 grams of protein right here. 92 grams because 100, 400 grams, 4 times 25 equals 100 grams of protein. But this is, this is... 375, so it makes sense, right? See how it goes, 925, but you just pick up the two numbers, all right? 92.5 is the exact amount of protein in here, for example. Anyway, that alone gives me energy that I need. I just bring my peanuts along. I freaking eat the whole freaking bag of peanuts, unsalted, of course, unsalted, always eat unsalted foods. Never put fucking salt in your foods. At all. That's what Dr. Wayne Dyer taught me. Because he got leukemia from salt and from freaking foods. Leukemia. Alright? Foods give you leukemia. Alright? So now, that's all I bring, man. I bring, for example, tofu and all that kind of stuff. I bring some food with me. But anyway, that's what you have to do. You have to use your body's energy. Look, remember? Rah, rah. I can keep going. I can, I can. I can, tell, I can give you a video of a lifetime, baby. How's, how's the rock say? I'll give you a lifetime, baby. The millions of people. I, I, I'll give you the show of a lifetime. Baby. He goes, baby. And yeah, he was, my, he was my, my role model as I was growing up. So, now, now that I've taught you how to use your energy, just make sure that you're using it. Make sure that you're using your energy throughout the day. Use your energy more than you eat. Use your body as energy. When you're using your body, when you're eating less and less, you're gonna lose weight. It's of course, you're gonna lose weight. But then you have to make the right nutritional, you have to make the right nutrition or food choices as well. It makes a big difference to turn vegan. It makes a big difference to study nutrition to give yourself more lasting energy, more healthy food, because more healthy food, guess what? Increases your lifespan, all right? Yes, eating less and less increases your lifespan, but also eating the right foods increases your lifespan even more, all right? But anyway, guys, look, I believe this has been, how long, man? It's been probably 50 minutes now, but anyway, I lost track of time because I love to talk to you in this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave a message down below and please subscribe to my videos. I have so much coming up. I may not show the best freaking, for example, thumbnails or whatever, or something like that, but it doesn't matter. I grow, I learn every single day. I teach you, I give you the 
right vibes, I give you everything you need, all right? So it's obviously every single time you do something, you're gonna learn from it each and every time. You're gonna pick up how other people are doing things and you're just gonna improve on your way to wherever you're going. So never ever put yourself down like I just did, all right? See how I push through? I just fucking enabled myself to not think that way anymore. All right, yes, I have some flaws, man. I have a lot of flaws. I was fat, man, I was fat. No woman wanted me. I had no friends. I was a person who lived in rehab for four months. I had medication on me for five years. Cigarette smoker for seven years. Drug addict, all right? I had no money at all. <laughs> for a long time. I had no education. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I had, I had no meaning in life. So I had so many problems. I was rejected a lot by a lot of people. And I was almost, I almost committed suicide three times. Once was through the highway because I have a license to drive a car. And I was on the highway, I wanted to flip my car. And I never did. And I wanted to stab myself in the throat with a, with a freaking one of those butcher knives. Just go in the throat, straight up. And I didn't want to do it. And then also wanted to drown, drown myself either in the ocean or in my bathtub. So those were the three ways I thought about killing myself. But I never did. So that's because I believed in myself. I believed in myself. I had that belief. I had that hope. If you lose your hope, man, if you lose your hope, that is when you die. So any time that you're going to kill yourself or any time you feel that you want to kill yourself, take off your gloves show you take off your gloves man this is the real deal honestly this is the real deal put your put your put your hands together and just say oh god please help me and you don't even have to say anything you don't have to say anything just hope man as soon as you put if as soon as you clap your hands like this you're praying you're hoping all right this as long as you do this and you keep your hands together, you're hoping. As long as you have hope, as long as you have your hands together, you're alive. All right? Fall asleep on this, man. If you're going to kill yourself, go to bed and just fucking close your eyes, clasp your hands and fall asleep and let God, man. Let God do the work. All right? Let greater power do the work. If you don't believe in God, do it anyway, man. Just do it and just hope. Hope. Because if you don't, if you lose hope, you lose your life. Hope is belief in yourself that you can do it. All right. Now, believing in yourself doesn't guarantee success. Believing in yourself alone doesn't guarantee success. What does though is belief with action. You believe and you take action. How do you take action? Use your emotion, man. Use your logic. All right. But use your emotion first. Use your logic. And your emotion together all right use it together and use the right foods and eat less and less so that you can have a longer life all right guys anyway subscribe to my video please i would really appreciate it if you have any questions leave it down below if i've helped you please tell me engage with me i like to engage with people i like to have a conversation and i like to help also guys i have three books down below on my quote series it's so called 1001 soul growth quotes 1001 quotes to inspire your soul growth and you can find that on Sna Smashwords also. My books are on Smashwords and also on Amazon. I've got my Ultimate Road to Success book. It's an ebook and also an audio book on the audible.com website. It's all below. I've got 3,000 quotes to motivate you just like this underneath my video in the links down below. Also, my Snapchat is always at growthcoach007 just like on my videos i type at growthcoach007 to link myself to all these social media sites that i've linked my code to my code is at growthcoach007 so my real name is danny milovoyevic i hope i have helped you here and also i have a podcast on my instagram account and you can go and click that and it will take you straight to my to my podcast where you can also get my nutritional diaries the james bond of growth nutritional diaries 
I am the James Bond of growth. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys use your emotion now. Use your emotion, brother. I hope you use your emotion, sister. All right. How's Greg Cardone say? Who's got my money, baby? Who's got my money? Hey, who's got my money? Huh? <laughs> no, no. Look, look. Never get the wrong idea about money. Don't love it. Don't hate it. All right. Don't love money. Don't hate money. Money is just a tool, man. What I just said was just a saying. It's not, it doesn't mean for you to go out and love money. Never love money. If someone says something really good about money, don't start loving money now, man. I used to love money just because someone said something so fascinating about money that I started to love money and I started to basically hold myself back because of that. And then someone would say really upsetting stuff about money and then I started to hate money and I'll, and then I hindered myself even more. So never love money nor hate it. See it as a transaction and see it as a way to give power to others, to give value to others, to make other people happier. All right? No worries. Guys, see you in the next vlog.